Hey there traders, welcome to the Discipline FX YouTube channel. My name is Andrew Bloom and if we haven't met before, I am a PhD student studying business with a concentration in entrepreneurship. I first started learning how to day trade after developing a chronic illness and needing to find a way to make money from home without having to be under anyone's thumb. I could just do this thing in my own time whenever I had the energy and then grow from there. So I taught myself how to day trade using a variety of YouTube videos, books, and even courses. And after about three years in the trading, I've reached that status of profitability and I've gone on to pass prop trading challenges. Discipline FX is meant to be the resource for you to learn how to trade by first developing your discipline and ideally using mechanical strategies in order to create a foundation for yourself so that you can go on and develop discretionary skills as an advanced trader. I believe the most important quality of funded or profitable traders and professional traders is that they are able to be disciplined and responsible and persistent on the path to making significant amounts of money from trading. So be sure to subscribe if you want more tips and tricks on how to not only become a profitable trader, but also find ways to make money from home, such as with prop trading and growing your own account. Now for today, I'm here to give you a review of a prop firm that I recently came across. As some of you know, I currently trade with FTMO and have taken other challenges as well. And I'm seeking to build a portfolio of prop firm accounts in order to have a steady income. I'm sure you've all seen by now that in the last year especially, there have been prop firms popping up like bunnies in the spring. I mean, every week it feels like there's another prop firm that I'm just hearing about. And the cool thing about prop firms is that a lot of them are really willing to compete with one another to give us better opportunities in order to decide to trade with them. So it's a great time to be a prop trader assuming you are profitable and able to trade a strategy well. I believe this is a response to the number of new traders that have recently come into the market after spending months and now years possibly working from home since we're facing what could be an extended time in inflation. So I think two of the most common models of prop firms is that there's either the 30 day challenge model or a longer term but slow growth account model. Each has their pros and cons, and the best way to know which one to do is usually by getting an idea for your own style and ideally knowing the return of your strategy. However, now a relatively new prop firm that came out I think in the last year has finally offered a little bit of the best of both. Its name is Funded Trading Plus. Now, the best way I can explain why I think this new firm has the potential to be the best prop trading firm out there, I have to first show you what some of the pros and cons are of two of the top prop firms out there, FTMO and the Five Percenters. And I'm going to show you how Funded Trading Plus is a little bit of the best of both. Following this review, you are pleased to do as you will. The one thing this new prop firm doesn't have that these others do is that FTMO and 5%ers have plenty of evidence of paying their traders. However, as we've seen with my Forex funds, it's only time until more people are taking a challenge with this firm that we will see more evidence of its own payouts. So in order for me to best explain why Funded Trading Plus should be on your consideration list for your next prop trading firm, I want to first go over the features and pros and cons of the two top firms, FTMO and the Five Percenters, and then I'll show you on the Funded Trading Plus's page how what they offer may possibly be one of the best deals you can find out there for prop trading. All right, let's hop on the screens and I'll show you more there. So to start, let's begin with FTMO. Now, FTMO is the first of two common prop trading firm models. Theirs is the 30-day evaluation approach. This is where you're given a limited amount of time to hit a profit target, avoid a maximum drawdown and a daily loss, 
and then you get a usually bigger size account once you pass, from which you basically get to create your own rules um, while also maintaining the rules that were defined in the first part of the challenge. So without argument, FTMO is probably the most reputable prop firm out there. It has the most evidence of payouts. It has pretty clean rules. There's not a bunch of hidden rules once you're funded. Um, although there are a few, which I'm going to go into. It's just a quality experience. The user interface of the dashboard and their metrics accounts are really useful, very clean. And they also offer CTrader as one of their platform offerings. So I want to talk about some of the failings of FTMO um, and why this might not be the best prop firm out there. So first of all, there are a number of minimum trading days you have to hit before you can move on to the next phase of the challenge. Now, on the one hand, this is really good for making sure you are actually profitable. But on the other, if you are profitable, um, it may be because you only trade a couple times in the month. You may have better opportunities on the first half of the month when there are more scheduled economic news releases. And perhaps during the second verification stage, if that's later on in the month, your strategy might not perform as well. So you don't really have complete control of your time. And, and that is the overall drawdown of these 30-day challenges is that your strategy has to perform really well in that time, otherwise you're screwed. And I know they've added uh, extended days, which is great, um, but it, it's not the same as having more time to wait for the best opportunity to trade your strategy. Another drawdown of FTMO is that they have some pretty expensive challenges. Uh, this is probably some of the most expensive I've seen for this particular setup and model and account sizes. We're talking, uh, you know, close to uh, 1,100 US dollars for a 200K challenge. It's, it's not cheap, especially if you're not sure if you're gonna make it or not, especially given that many traders will fail their first one or two challenges before actually passing. So that's quite a hefty investment if you're not even sure you're gonna pass. And uh, another drawdown that people don't talk about enough is that for funded traders, you do need to avoid weekend rollover. Um, you can change over to a swing trading account once you're funded. However, the leverage changes for swing trading accounts from day trading one. So if you're a scalper like me, uh, the extra cost and commissions might not be worth it. However, you do pretty much get to set your own standards. If, and, and I recommend this for a lot of people, even though you're going to be um, tempted to want to get on their leaderboards, I recommend just taking out a very small amount of profit every month and you will survive as a trader by risking less. That's my recommendation. Aim for like 2 to 6% return a month um, by risking maybe 1% or less per trade and you should be able to hold on to your account if you have a quality strategy and good discipline. So that's FTMO. Let's go over to the 5%ers. Okay, so for the 5%ers, it's a different model. This is the other model that I identify as common across prop firms. This is the longer challenge, but smaller account model. So this is a good choice if you know how your strategy performs, you want to prevent yourself from having to risk too much per trade to hit a target, and you just, you, you get the benefit of having a good, decent amount of time to hit a target. There's far less pressure under this model than trying to pass a 30-day challenge. And the 5%ers is also a highly reputable firm, plenty of proof of payout. Um, I have students in my course too who trade either FTMO, 5%ers. So these are quality firms. I'm not trying to say they're bad firms. I just am eager to show you another firm that may have something that is a little bit of the best of both worlds. So the nice thing is that you get to take your time. However, some of the drawdowns of these models is that first, you have a very small account size 
for what you're paying for. I mean, we're talking like over 800 USD in order to end up with an $80,000 account from which you will only get 50% payout split. In my books, it might not be worth the risk of losing this fund um, in order to make very small returns and slowly grow the account to this larger size. So I, and I think this is why I personally probably won't ever take a challenge with the five percenters, uh, just because I'm, I personally am more accustomed to the 30 day challenge model. I highly recommend to do more of what you already know you can do. So I'm not really interested in taking this longer drawn out challenge. So, so now we, we've kind of seen the best and worst of these two highly reputable firms. And we're going to go over to the funded trading plus. Now let's start at their home screen. So funded trading plus is a relatively new firm. I think they came out in about a year ago and they have a nice design on their webpage and they offer a couple of options for their programs. So let's start with the experienced trader. The experienced trader offers a single phase challenge. So you're not starting with a challenge and then moving into verification. You get to just build up your account and focus on managing that account all the way up to a 10% target. Your total drawdown, however, will stay at 5% and your daily drawdown is 2.5%. Now, this may sound like it's not such a great deal because if you add everything up, like with FTMO, you're looking to hit 15% with 10% uh, drawdown on each, while this one you have to hit 10% while you have to avoid half that drawdown. However, you do not have to meet a time limit. As you can see right here, we do not impose time limits on their challenges for this program of the experienced trader. They do not require you to hit a 30 day limit. That is huge, especially given these measures now. And also there are no minimum days. So time is of the essence and with funded trading plus time isn't one of the pressure factors for prop trading anymore. And that's huge. I, I really do think that's something most people don't take into account. I know it's so fascinating to see traders who um, can pass a challenge in one or two days. Uh, statistically, these are the traders that over trade and then um, can also lose their account within a couple months. If you're a smart, responsible trader and you trade like a professional, you want to go slow. You are not risking 2% on a trade. You might be risking uh, 1% or less and looking to take three trades in a month. So this gives you time. And that's one way it outperforms FTMO is that you're no longer attached to a time limit. The second is that this is a pretty cheap fee. Uh, let's see, 100,000 for 499 FTMO. FTMO requires uh, something a little over 600 US dollars for 100 K account um, with with those time restrictions. So that's pretty awesome. Now the other quality element is that they offer an 80-20 payout split. 80 to you, 20 to them. And when we compare that to the five percenters who are offering 50%, that's a pretty sweet deal. You're getting the same five percenters long-term challenge style with the benefits that you usually see in a 30-day challenge style. Now, if that didn't sweeten the deal enough, I'm trying to see where it is, but they're looking to add TradingView as one of their trading platforms. Yeah, so they're planning on adding TradingView very soon. Um, I think as soon as this month of February. I I'm all in. I, I think MT4 to MT5 is so archaic. It is terrible for entering trades um, and wanting to manage your uh, trades according to your account size. You have to find tools or create your own to tools in the program to do so. And it's just, it's just so behind in user design. I think TradingView is hands down the best platform out there.
being able to trade a challenge with trading view is just just a nice luxury at this point so some things to keep in mind with funded trading plus is that they do and this may be one of their drawdowns is that they do have withdrawal process where um when you pull out funds, it changes your drawdown. Withdrawals below the profit target will, however, reduce the drawdown available to the trader. I highly recommend, as I will with any prop firm, you have to do your research. I, if you are interested in trading with Funded Trading Plus, please read all their facts section, read all their program options. Do not dive into these things without more knowledge. Let's see where I could find it. Okay, so let's go over some of their rules. Um, the straightforward ones are avoid your drawdown limits. The soft rules are that you do need a stop loss. Again, this is why trading view will be really great because you can set them automatically without having to put in a price. You can use pips. Uh, and also, they do not want you to hold trades during weekends. Now, the other important aspect of this firm that you have to keep in mind, they have a somewhat complicated drawdown. Uh, requirement. So they do use a trailing stop, I believe. But once you hit 5%, uh, I may be getting this wrong, but I think once you hit 5% in profit, you can increase your drawdown allowance. However, you're not supposed to fall below the maximum drawdown allowance of 5%. So if you get to your $106,000 account you need to leave that five thousand dollars in there you can't get up to 110 and then take out that ten thousand dollars because now you're beyond the drawdown if that makes sense and if it doesn't make sense please go over to their program page and read this closely this is something you need to keep in mind as you're trading but i don't believe it's complicated enough of a rule to avoid trading with this firm. So that was their experienced trader program. Their advanced trader program uh, is more similar to the standard two-phase model where you have different profit targets for each phase, a 10%, 5%, and it seems pretty much the same as the other program. You're just picking whether you want to take one or two evaluations with slightly different targets. You basically can choose to grow just one account all the way to its 10% with a smaller drawdown or stick with the bigger drawdown and aim for a first 10% and then 5% target. This might actually be the smarter challenge to take, uh, especially if you're used to FTMO's model. But again, be mindful of the drawdown rules as this will affect what amount you can take out of your account. Okay, lastly, there's one more program which is pretty unique to Funded Trading Plus. It looks like uh, coming this year, they're looking to offer a $20,000 cash bonus to traders who can trade at a one to two risk reward ratio, be able to do so over 125 trades, with I think at least like a 50% win rate. And they will automatically give you 500K for funding. Yeah, I, I think there's, and it's a slightly more expensive challenge. So that's to come. But yeah, I think overall, Funded Trading Plus, as I said before, offers what seems to be the best of both trading models, the 30 day challenge and the long-term account growth challenge. They also scale their accounts as well. I think I failed to mention that, but as I said, I highly believe this prop firm has the potential to compete with my Forex funds, FTMO, 5%ers, as they have what one of their founders calls a the prop firm that I would want to trade. So check them out. Let me know what you think. And hopefully soon I'll be able to take a challenge with them to tell you about my experience as well. All right, thank you for listening. Please let me know your thoughts, comments, questions in the comments below. And uh, as always, if you have questions about this firm specifically, please go to their website, chat with them, um, email them. I 
don't represent the firm. Um, I am an affiliate with them, but I'm only a secondary source. You, you've got to go to the primary source to get the most valid and quality information. Okay, folks, I wish you all the best of strength and luck, and I will see you soon. Take care.